We got a rogue hair. Hello. Subscribe, oh bitch. Gosh. You know who this is reminding me of? Miss Charlie from TikTok with her rogue pieces of hair. This was like a trend when I was a teenager. You would like do a high pony and then like pl pluck some hair out to go like this. Now, as an adult, I look disgusting and awful like this. Dance on it like you've been served. I like it with a little bit of curve, but it's like a little bit of hair. It's not this much. And that's just on period. <laughs> Actually though, why do I not look ugly? Hold on. Okay, if my hair did not look like it was drenched in wetness because of how greasy it is, I think I'd be able to actually pull this off. I kind of look cute. Anyways, welcome back to my channel everyone. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. I'm doing a new thing where I'm actually telling you guys to subscribe and hit the like button because who is telling me this? One of my roommates. Yeah, he was like, I've never heard you say like to tell people to subscribe and you know, hit the like button when I think that sort of like, <laughs> Isn't that like intuitive? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, today we are going to be roasting my tumbler that's over 10 years old. I want to say like at least 13. Like this bitch is old. If you guys don't know what tumbler is, please Google it. I will not be sitting here telling you about it because we don't have time. We actually do, but I won't do it because it's my time, baby. Also, you're probably like, where are you? Listen, bitch, I am in a new room. If you guys watched my vlogs, you would know that I moved rooms in the home, in the, in the crib. I moved next door because one of my roommates moved out. Comment down below if you want to see a room tour integrated into a vlog so we can do that. The windows in here don't work. And if you hear the fucking birds. <laughs> I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the birds. <laughs> All they do is tweedle, 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 tweedle. All damn day. So the last time I actively used Tumblr on like a daily basis was probably like five or six years ago. But this is what my Tumblr looks like. I'm upset, but okay. Me though. <laughs> I'm not kidding. She was a fucking coder. She was a goddamn web developer. <laughs> When I, <laughs> when I tell you I grinded like all night long to create my Tumblr, I'm not kidding. Okay, so I had this like website counter where it would show how many people were on my blog. So it'd be like four hoes, five hoes, like some model whatever like that. I got this elephant. I don't even like elephants, but and then this fucking drop down menu though. I'm also realizing as I'm editing this, the username on this screenshot says Beyonce's cop. <laughs> Oh my God. So I had like a message, um, like you could ask me questions and let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm about to expose myself. But basically I would, <laughs> I would ask myself questions and then click the un ask anonymously thing. Oh, I'm also gonna say follow me on TikTok because I've been posting a lot of TikTok content lately um, and they keep blowing up. So I have a tab that says me and these were all of my photos that I posted and they're mostly of myself. So this one was me and Lana Del Rey when I met her, got three reblogs. This was me on spring break for my senior year. My friend Azure and I met Aaron Paul at like this random movie screening I got tickets to. Now this photo I thought was the cutest photo in the whole world. This was pre nose job, got my old nose. And I also have a fake, yep. I have a fake nose ring in. There was a period like right after I got my braces off where I looked really cute all the time. One of my old friends and I had like, like did this like, I'm looking back at this and is this cultural appropriation? Oh my God. <laughs> Obviously then I was not as conscious as I was now because I was like 15 or 16, but yeah. Oh, this is when I learned how to make um, gifts. This got 21 notes, so popping. The caption says, when I find the Nickelback CD in the car and then like the face, and it's a gif of me finding a Nickelback CD in my mom's car and then chucking it out the window. So yeah, um, peak comedy. Oh, this is good. So this is actually what the very first layout was of Instagram, like um, the photo uploading layout of Instagram. Yep, that's what it looks like. And all you could do was like use all these random filters. I don't even know how I did this because I definitely did this on an iPhone 4 and there was no such thing as screen recording back then. 
in. So I don't even, I literally don't even know how I did this. That's crazy. I was so ahead of the game. Not gonna lie, I'm not gonna shit on this one. This one's good. Dude, look at my hair. This was a little photo shoot that I had with myself. Got 12 notes, but I loved this photo. Oh my gosh. So this was taken by, <gasps> reblogged by Ricky Dillon. Mr. Ricky Dillon, we love you, King. Thank you. Thanks for the support and the love. Wait, hold on. Who was this? So when the song Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen came out, there was like this trend going around where people would make a music video to it, but it would be in like the style where you would lip sync it in a lot of different locations and then you would splice it all together so it'd be like really fast and fun. So <laughs> my friend and I in high school were studying in the Panera and we did this on, we filmed it on my laptop. I threw a wish in the well. Don't ask me, I'll never tell. I look to you as it fell. And now Bruh. you're in my way. I trade my soul for a wish. The fact that I walked around recording on the photo booth on my, on my laptop is honestly comical. That is like, we would we went around like a strip mall where like a Panera, a party city. Where you think you're going, baby? Oh. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but here's my number, so call me maybe. <laughs> That's enough of that, though. Then I had a little area that was called mine. I think it was, like, the posts that I made or the photos that I took and, like, the, like, the memes I made or something. This was me at the park. I don't know. Oh, I remember this. There was, like, a part of Tumblr where, like, the really messy, no edited photos were, like, really popular. I'll try to, like, put some up on the screen if you know what I'm talking about. It was, like, a say no to drugs week or something that we do in school, and the pencil and, like, the merch that we get was, like, say no to drugs. I'm not doing drugs. And then what I did was, is I shaved it down. I specifically did it for this. I didn't even use the fucking pencil where it said doing drugs and then I added, I'm doing drugs. Two reblocks on that. Oh, and then ironically, right under it, I got a pack of cigarettes specifically for this. I didn't even smoke cigarettes, cigarettes as a teenager. I wrote, they kill you on the pack. And this bitch got almost 500 reblogs. So. She was doing something raw. Oh, in this video, I remember this. I don't know if you guys have seen the Girl Scout Cookie Fail video. It was my favorite video on the internet for a while. There's this girl, she was talking about, <laughs> she was talking about, she was talking about, what the fuck was she? She was talking about how many cookies she had sold as a Girl Scout and then like fell off the chair or something. And then I reenacted it, so. I already Actress. 60 boxes. Queen of reenactments. Exactly. I usually sell like 10 boxes, but I sold 60. Yeah, so that was that. <laughs> I actually think I did a really good job like, like lip syncing it, so. Fuck you, haters. Oh my gosh. And then I jailbroke my iPhone 4 and I took this photo. It said slide to relax because I jailbroke it because it was like popular to like jailbreak your phones back then. And here we are with another video. I don't even know what this one is. I am scared. Performing the song I just wrote with a bottle and joy. This was in 2012. That's crazy. <laughs> Girl, she was corny, okay? She was corny. We're just gonna pretend like we didn't see that. Oh, I remember I got this phone case just because I saw it on Tumblr, took a photo of it and then posted it on Tumblr. Oh, I remember this, the Chanel. Bitch, this awesome. Oh, yeah, that was good. That was a good time. Oh, this one was a, this one. I took this photo of the cereal aisle at Publix with my fish eye lens. And I once again got the fish eye lens because I saw it on Tumblr. This is when I went to the Katy Perry concert. I took these blurry ass photos and posted them on Tumblr for some reason. But yeah, this one is like my pride and joy. This got 16,000 fucking reblogs. It's no Orion Carlotto, but we'll take it. Someone asked me, can I see a pic of you? And it was literally me. I just sent them a photo of the photo of the U letter and then so.
What can I say? Um, I'm a screenwriter. These were all of my little um, posts that I would, um, like thoughts, like it was in my, oh my God, there's so many. I messed up so bad because I was mad. And now I'm sitting here with people mad at me, crying my eyes out. By all means, have a fucking boyfriend for all I care. But when it comes to the point <laughs> where you can't stop talking about him slash saying how much you think he loves you slash replacing him with your friends, then a problem begins to happen. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Katy Perry, California Dreams concert tonight. Holy shit, who else is going? I literally posted that as if I had friends on top. So now I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back. I've scrolled very far back in my Tumblr for a very long time so we can see some of the things I reblogged, just sort of get like a little feeling of who I was back then. <laughs> Anonymous asked, which was probably me asking myself these questions because no one was asking me questions. Who are your closest friends? And I said, they know who they are. Anonymous asks, how could you describe your style? And I literally said emo. I am not your plan B, bitch. I think it was this photo was the reason why I bought all those random cheap ass cases made in China because uh, I like the aesthetic. Am I the only one who thinks Kevin Jonas is gay? <laughs> when you say a joke in front of a big group and no one laughs. Oh my God, I reblogged this thing that said, damn son, where'd you find this? And that's what a lot of like trap music like, that's what they say, I don't know why. But there was one point when I was really into like EDM music and I would like go to these like little EDM shows and let's just say I'm glad that phase is over because it could have gone one or two ways. I could have gone this way where I just, it was a phase I grew out of it or I could have um, been an adult raver, so. Does anybody else have a friend that you're pretty sure is your soulmate, but in a friend way? I used to think I had friends that were like my soulmates when I would say, I don't know, I just feel like we're like soulmates. Like we're friends that are like soulmates. And then I remember once, this was like a really long time ago when I was like 13 or 14, one of my friends was like, huh? <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I feel like we're soulmates. And she was like, no, my soulmate's gonna be my husband. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Me too. Just the validation I needed growing up was just never enough. I reblogged this, gotta keep an eye out for Selena thing in like 2013. And now this is like a thing again. It's like a, like the, the meme has resurfaced. You gotta love the time. You gotta love the full circle You gotta love the full circle of tea. But I reblogged the cover of The Great Gatsby. Girl, she's, she's a, she's a book reader. Hello, yeah, she reads books, not really. So. Bitches be reading The Great Gatsby and think that they're deep, Fuck but they're no, not. Baby. I remember when you posted amazing videos. Everyone loved them. What happened to you? It grew up! Oh my gosh. I was just awoken by a thought. I reblogged this photo of Chachi Gonzalez and it literally opened up a portal <laughs> of memories from when I used to watch Chachi on YouTube dance and then I used to mimic them. I used to want to be here so bad. Okay, the funny part was, it's really not like the most elite version of dancing. She's literally just going. All right, so something I also just came across, this private Tumblr I had that I didn't really get far on. So I made this blog to kind of post videos just about and like photos and stuff. And, and if you are watching this, you're really lucky because I am not gonna give the password out to a whole bunch of people. I don't really plan on it and. Bitch, she says it's an honor for you to have this password. I think that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Tumblr times were insane. All right, lots of mental illness, lots of sadness, lots of sadness, lots of heartbreak, hormones, growing up, puberty, and mental illness. And I will see you in the next one. 
Sorry. Sorry.